Okay, hi, Sierra again. Uh, this is called For My Ugly. My mom told me a picture was taken of us the second I was born, but when the photos were printed, that particular one came up black. Take one glance at me and you'll notice bright red lipstick a second glance and you'll call me a pretty girl while you admire skin color that is only ever called beautiful. Please stop. I am not beautiful because one night stands bear children classified as accidents, a wanted abortion treated like a spilled glass of milk so convenient to rid of such a small stain. The reckless want the easy way out. I am ugly not because I look it, but because I have seen it, touched it with my hands on ant infested dirty carpet, sleeping faces on strawberry shirtcake polyester sheets. Sunday, watch my, watching mom and the stepdad drink down their next fight. I am from a family that never was, secrets of the insane crawling up from the vents into my ears as I lay on the top bunk waiting for answers in the middle of the night. My skin comes from a man I'll never meet, my eyes come from a woman I wish I didn't know, I am ugly, red slap skin from the time I drew a boat on the wall. I am bad still to this day for doing that, childhood innocence consumed by violence called discipline, spanking teaches respect but I only learned to be silent, carrying bad behavior in the burning flesh. My world has never been safe, my heart has never not been broken, my heavy German shoulders carry excuses in the word bitch so that my mom doesn't have to. She has enough baggage as it is. She carries guilt for not finishing high school. Well, I carry guilt that if I wasn't born, she might have had a chance. My hand still clinging to the rope she tried to hang herself with on my birthday. Finally understanding why 13 is an unlucky number. Finally realizing my mom and dad never got along. Mental illness and whiskey unable to correspond correctly. Narcissism spitting at my opinions that were always wrong. Father figure, something I never had because discipline came before kindness. Claims he loves his girls, but daddy, your ear pulls and hits only made your daughters fear you. No more drinks, no more ugly, please. Mommy can't handle herself sober. How can she handle you drunk? Sit down and eat the peanut butter sandwich. Ignore the yelling, Alexis. It's money today, not you, little sister. Your glass of milk won't spill. Mommy is just stomping around, and it's probably better that she's just stomping. Me carrying the memory of someone locking me in a closet. Sounds of laughter because I guess it was funny. I don't remember laughing. I tell myself it wasn't someone. It was everything from a place made of the bloodstained nightgowns, from failures of not being like the generation before, from liars and cheaters, from keys jabbed through noses, from I'm sorry, baby, it won't happen again, from Raymond, don't call me a bitch in front of the kids. Kids who grew up to accept the ugly past, yet the sad story has made us sad girls. I am from an ugly that can't be enhanced by the color of a cover girl lipstick, but can only be disguised by the fake smile we learned as children, and then some. But it doesn't bother me that I'm ugly. What bothers me is that I'm the only one who sees it. <laughs>